Hey guys, we just got back from the secret pet of live pit to pine a fatty false. What movie did you see? Italian. <laughs> right? That was Italian. <laughs> Hey guys, we just got back from the secret life of pets. Nailed it. And what an amazing and extremely fun, adventurous <laughs> life it is. Go out and see this film. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was good pretty movie. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the break. Uh, so, the breakdown of the film is uh, this dog, Max, uh, this little cute, uh, I don't even know what breed of dog he is. Man, but he's I'm a, terrible with breeds. He's a, yeah, me too. He's, <laughs> he's a, a little dog. dog. He's a dog. No, is he like a terrier uh, or something? Yorkshire terrier? Yeah, the, the premise is yeah. that as soon as the owners leave the house, these pets uh, go off and, and act like humans and have their own lives, of course, with their little dog brains. Now, the dogs are so loyal to their owners that they just... Their whole life revolves around the owners. The cats, of course, the cats, cats don't really... Cats are always assholes. They don't really right. give a shit. You, you guys are fucking cat lovers. Yeah, they are uh, to themselves and stuff. And it's it's all pretty hilarious. And it's not just dogs and cats. Obviously, it's pets. So there's there's birds. Guinea there's pigs. There's guinea pigs. Hamsters, uh, iguanas. Iguanas. Alligators. Uh, alligators. <laughs> uh, pretty much any, any, any animal, animal you can think of. And uh, once the owners leave, they, they basically get together, hang out, they're friends. And uh, this is basically a story of Max, uh, Max's owner, I think it's Beth, showing up with a new pet, yep. uh, Duke, who you see in the trailers, with this big, dumb, brown dog just running around, just basically yep. taking things over. And he feels uh, a little bit abandoned and, and you know... Like his life is gonna completely change. He's been change. replaced. He's been replaced, yeah. and so that that pushes the whole story together. Uh, but ultimately, it turns into a bonding film, yeah. and uh, and I feel that that's where it was uh, really really strong. And I was surprised. This um, it's been a long time since I've been to one of these like pure, you know, family films with yeah. with you know kids in, involved because that, the film starts and it's the minions. Yep. And I'm like, well, what's going on here? And these minions are basically, you know, I love them, and they're laughing at the TV. They want to buy something on TV. And it's basically a short film short, of yeah. the minions, uh, you know, trying to buy a blender. And this went on for about, you know, it was like a seven, seven ten minute, minute yeah. short. And, uh, you know, I turned to Joe, I was like, what the fuck is going on? But then I realized that they do do this. They do they, the they these shorts in front of some of these animated movies. And as I was yeah. watching it, it really brought me back. And I was like, you know what? This is pure entertainment for entertainment's sake. I, I see kids laughing, having a good time. Now, a lot of the jokes didn't really hit it for me, but I was, I was like entertained. That it, uh, it's almost like a show put on for me, and it reminded me of like you know why some of my friends at Glazier likes Bollywood films where. The audience is, is the, the movie knows that you're here to be entertained and that they're just going to put together this quick short just to make you laugh. It doesn't have to like, have this big plot. It's just, hey. Like before the Toy Story movies, like yeah. the chess, the chess I, short yeah. film with the old man playing chess and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So so this film has one of those and I was happy to see it. Now, I, I did feel like this company, Illumination, because of course a minion is also yeah. on the logo. There's minions there, there's minions here, and then there's even like a minion cameo in a, in a costume for in, in The Secret Life of Pets. It's like minions are being rammed down our throats. Either that is their most popular it franchise is, it and it makes yeah, it tons is. and tons of money, or they're just like really pushing their minions hard so that they can start, you know, just do more and more films. They did Despicable Me and Despicable Me too. And okay. then they, didn't they have a spin-off Minions? Yeah, Minions. Yeah, minions. Yeah, minions. Yeah, they did. So, so that's how the film starts. But then we get right into the actual movie, Secret Life of Pet, Secret Life of Pets, and it was fantastic. Dude, what do you think of this film? I thought the movie was really great because it didn't try to do anything like new or crazy or anything. I just wanted to entertain the crap out yeah. of you, and it had. Decent jokes, it had good pacing, and the characters were all super unique, and I liked them. So, yeah, the the characters, I was surprised by the number of characters in here, uh, and, and the movie never feels like it gets lost. Wow. It never feels overpacked. 
uh, because it centers around pets, you expect there to be pets. Uh, and, and eventually, the film collides two worlds together between uh, pets that are owned and, and loved and, and, uh, and pets that have been abandoned and flushed down the flushed toilet, pets. down yeah. in the sewers. And these guys are led by the absolutely show stealer of this movie, the little bunny, and I don't know if he has a name in the film. Yeah, he does. What's his he, name? Like Snowball. Yeah, Snowball. Snowball that's Snowball. what it is. And Kevin Hart. Kevin Kevin Hart dude. <laughs> Yelling all goddamn movie long, but I love that. And He's you know, like, I my favorite. Uh, I I my favorite. There was so many favorite parts from the bunny. I think this yeah. is one of the cutest bunnies, uh, but funniest bunnies. And Kevin Hart just stole the show. What did you think did. about uh, Kevin Hart and that side storyline about? him leading the revolution against the humankind. Oh, I loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> this dude is in everything now. He is, but I can see why though. This guy's very talented. Yeah. And uh, now he's a voice actor. Oh he yeah, is, he is yeah. a voice actor. Bam. Right? Yeah. And it's a perfect it. role because he's so petite yet so fucking loud. He, he dominates the scene. Right. <laughs> he's the boss of he's all the these boss. underground yeah. Uh, animals yeah. that they want to kill humans and he's like death to everybody, but he's so <laughs> fucking cute. Yeah, and he's like, I got these battle plans, and look at my battle plans, and nobody understands his battle plans because they're just yeah, scribbles because he's a fucking bunny he and he, he shit himself. Psychotic. Which that joke was not funny. There's just I've seen that in the trailer, trailer a thousand times, but there are so many other jokes in the film that make up for that. But I also like this uh, character that I looked up, and sure enough, Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey! Yeah, so was like, that oh was Dana God. Carvey, the old pops. dog? Pops. Fucking Pops. Okay. I love Pops. There were so many really there good were. characters, and I think that's what makes this film so strong. Pops, that old dog who's in this little wheelchair I thing. I guess it's the dark humor that I like. Mm -hmm. Everyone's it's like, how are you humor. doing? It's in the trailer. It's mm -hmm. like, how are you doing? Paralyzed. Paralyzed. <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah, he's like, you know, that dark he's humor. this badass dog who seems to have seen everything. <laughs> he has parties at his house because his owner's never there, so that's where all the happenings are at. And you just like, Pops, you gotta talk to Pops. He'll help you find, you know, your, what you're looking for. And oh man, it's, so Pops is a good character. There were so many characters. Gidget was an amazing character. Oh yes. I don't care. I think Gidget was the best character in the entire show. No, Gidget, was, so, Gidget was the little white dog. She was little white dog. Uh, Pomeranian or something. Yeah, I think. that, that is pampered. Football. She yeah. like drives the secondary story to the main story, mm -hmm. which causes them to collide at some point. Ooh, but it was yeah. very well done. And yeah. our character was like, starts off like completely oblivious and naive. And by the end, she's like kicking ass and actually yes. going crazy. So, so worth it. When these two, these two plot lines collide, it's amazing. All the subplots in this film about... Uh, the feeling of, of aban abandonment, uh, uh, the feeling of being replaced, uh, accepting new people into yep. your life, uh, friendship, Lots of uh, you know, love, uh, you know, basically trying to do the right thing. There's just so many subplots here and, and themes in the film and they really come together well. And it's one of those movies that uh, makes you feel good. You felt good, yeah. yeah. And the, the last the time movie. I remember feeling this good watching like all the, the, the ending scenes, I don't want to spoil it, uh, is The Martian. Yeah, The Martian had that really feel good yeah. ending and The Secret Life of Pets has that as well. And I really don't want to spoil any more of the film for it. I say the animation is excellent, the yeah. voice acting is excellent. There are so many memorable characters here yeah. that I really, really hope that we get a sequel uh, for this one and I want this to be a franchise. And maybe they can stop shoving down the minions down our throat and, and start Hopefully. showing us a little Surprise bit more enjoy. of the secret <laughs> life of pets. And uh, I, I, but see, I was half expecting there towards the end uh, to do for them to do something like, oh, you know, we're waiting, you know, we're waiting for Beth to come home, and then she opens the door, and a third dog third shows dog. up. Third dog. Yeah, I I uh, but that doesn't happen. Yeah. Something else happens, and we're gonna leave that for you to uh, <laughs> discover. Definitely go out and see it. Let's give you our final verdicts, and uh, we'll start with Joe this time. Out of ten, Joe. How out of ten, I'm gonna give this a seven. I okay. really enjoyed this film. The jokes were pretty good. Mm -hmm. the story kind of dropped a little story bit. It kind of dragged on. Sto story is very simplistic. Yeah, it is. And it was really... It's still pretty good for yeah. me, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7. All right, 7 out of 10. Dal, what are you thinking? I'm going to give it an 8. Uh huh. For the fact that it was clearly like a kids-oriented show, mm -hmm. 
and adults were laughing and we were laughing yeah. a lot. And the fact that it was it was aimed so low, but it was like going up to our age range and even higher. Yeah, it, it it was a good film. It was it was really well done, and the characters they brought in carried the entire film. Even if it was like a really simplistic yeah. story, they were like fill that shit, that whole script with entertaining lines. S and it'll this carry this it. one had me invested from beginning yeah. to end. And when you compare this film and how we liked it to BFG, we oh. also saw BFG. I don't know if I'll put out that review because. <laughs> We really hated BFG, and everybody else liked yeah. BFG. So I, I'll think about putting out that review. How would you compare this to, to, to BFG? If oh, you, you didn't fall asleep. Twice. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I might put the, up that review, <laughs> but w what do you think? Much better? Okay, so BFG was just visually impressive. Yeah. That's all I had going for it. And this right. was like everything. Right. The characters jokes, were super great characters. interesting. It had a decent story kit lifted by the characters. Very simple, but well done. Mm -hmm. And, and it made you it feel, made you feel good. Yeah, okay. yeah. Do you feel. still feel about the characters? The yeah, BFG, you didn't really. You didn't give a shit. Pick, but you didn't think about any of the characters. Yeah, like, BFG was more a visual them. spectacle, and you're and you're going on this adventure, and you're kind of separate. The Secret Life of Pets. I, maybe it's because I'm a pet lover, and and you, you get invested a little bit more that way cheaply. But but no, not just that, because the no, characters, in our pet, opinion, are more I engaging. I still care about these pets. You are petless, Joe. That's true. But how would you compare this with uh, Zootopia? Zootopia. Zootopia, I cannot because I've not seen it yet. Oh, I haven't seen Zootopia. Oh, no, I want to so bad. What about you? Zootopia was better slightly, yeah. but it was really close. Yeah, like, it was. These are really both just close. feel good, fun movies. And that's why I'm going to rate the uh, this film an eight out of ten. I think you guys should go out and see it. It's definitely worth money in the movie theaters. Uh, so definitely go check it out, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. <laughs>